Hey there, it's me, Red Knight, and welcome to my fishing area. Right, right, as you can see there, we've got quite a few items there to be collected. We've got the ducks there ready to be preened. We've got lobster tails to collect. We've got lures there to actually get off the machines, and we've got nets as well. We have lots of traps there. My little friend, the fisherman, he is there as well, and we've got a tackle box that can be upgraded if we wanted to. So I need to think very strongly about this. Do I actually want to upgrade my tackle box? Now, at the moment, it's a 250. Now, I did say last year that my goal was to actually try and get to 500. Now, I got basically halfway there. Now, I did use a lot of resources elsewhere and give them to other people, so it kind of fell by the wayside. Now, I've got the ability now to upgrade it again, or I could save these resources for my actual either barn or silo, depending on which one it is that requires these two items. Actually, what I'm going to do is my fishing area. For me, my fishing area is more important for me to increase increase my storage. Now, I like to increase my storage here. The only downside, I think, is the fact that it takes a lot of resources for a very small increase. So for me, within the game, the fishing area is something I'd like to see developed a little bit more. So as an example, if I'm upgrading, I'd like the ability to get more than five every time. Like you'll see here that I'm about to use 46 of the nails, the screws and the wooden panels and I get an extra storage for 5. Now, it's kind of like not really a good ratio. Now when you're starting off and you're starting to increase this, it's not too bad. But as you progress this actual tackle box and you're using all of these resources and it's only five, it's kind of like, do I really want to do this? Do I actually want to use all of these resources on this one aspect? Well, for me, the answer is obviously going to be yes. But again, when you are doing it, you need to think strongly about this. Now, how do you get these? Well, you can actually get these resources through regular harvesting. Harvesting allows you to get expansion items, just like that gorgeous plank. You can get some others as well. Feeding your animals, again, is another way of getting these gorgeous items. Now, they're not the only ways of getting them. You can also ask your neighborhood. You've got your chat here you can go into. You've also got the opportunity to get these as prizes when you do the derby. Maybe you can actually find them in the roadside shops as well, if you are lucky. If you do, grab them quickly. In fact, I got some screws and nails today, so I was very happy about that one. Now, once you do actually get the required amount you're looking for, upgrading is done with the touch of a magic finger on a button. So my fingers come flying in, and I'm going to press that little green tick mark. Now, the clouds appear, nothing really happens, but you can see that my storage has now gone down, and my capacity is now 250. If we have a look at the contents at the moment, okay, you'll see I don't really have any of the regular colored lures there. I've only gone for the worms, and I don't have any of the mystery nets, but I have the regular nets or the regular traps. Now, at the moment, I've not been focusing too much on the actual colored lures. Okay, I should do, because I do need them to catch the missing fish that I am down on. So as an example, like the golds and the purples here. Uh, however, uh, for me, I also want to catch this one elusive fish in the actual event. So I'm waiting for the next event. I've got my worms ready. Uh, I tried worms last time. I caught some, but not quite the weight I was hoping for. Now, I have been saving my actual vouchers because I wanted to get myself a rabbit, which I'd done recently. So I may come back to start making the actual cuddlers again soon. But most of my fishing album's done. Now, I love the fishing album. I'm hoping that we get some some more fish added soon. So, hey day, please do give me some more within the actual fishing area. I really want to see some changes here. Uh, I'm looking for new fish. Uh, I'm looking for maybe something that's expanded or developed in this area. I'd love to be able to have a path that goes up to the waterfall to something that's at the top of the waterfall. Maybe even walk up this stream to another location. We've got clouds down here. We've got the ability to add more, I think. And I think the fishing area could have a little bit more done to it. Okay, right, well, I need to collect these lobsters, because until I collect those lobsters, I can't actually do my fishing task. I need to send these ducks on their way as well, and there they go, so fly away, you are free, so freedom, they are gone. 
Now, collect my traps for the lobsters that I've got there at the moment. So you can go in my little pool and give me your tails. Ducks, you go and get your little manicures and get your feathers preened and you enjoy yourself as well. Now, the charge for getting this is not that much, just one little feather and then I will be very satisfied later. I'll come back there in about three hours and collect those little goodies from you. And you ladies over here as well, I'm going to take your tails because I like a little bit of tail. But this one will be in six hours now I do have the ability to collect those items there but I'm going to leave them there as well and the actual worms they can stay there at the moment as well because I got plenty now I got a fishing task here I need to get 108 pounds within four days now I'm only using the worms at the moment so I'm not really going to get anything above four pounds now four pounds is fine if I'm lucky enough to get that but most of the fish will probably be about the two or three pound mark so you'll see here yep as an example this one here so that's going to be a 2.3 pound one that's okay it's a silver uh, but I don't really need that for diamonds so I'm just going to collect any fish and go for the weight so come to me my little fishy make sure you are a fighter let's see if I can get a smaller circle sometimes maybe a big fat heavy fish just like that that's the one I'm trying to catch that's a 3.6 pounder it's a good weight and the sockeye salmon is the one that will allow me to get that 108 pounds very very quickly now it's not always easy okay it's uh, a fish that sometimes does fight you but you never know maybe you can grab it but if I don't get it I'm not worried so I just want to relax and collect my little fishies like that one that nice little tiny one there little copper red horse there but 3.2 pounds that's not bad okay I don't mind that one now for me when I do the fishing tasks I kind of prefer the fishing events as well because you do get the opportunity to catch a 12 pound fish a 12 pound fish kills a derby task very very quickly so you never know oh that one could be a good weight as well those little red hot nah, 2.7 useless but still good enough right come to me my little fishies no 12 pounders no six pounders no nine pounders all less than four pounds so 12 slots are completely open uh, if I get up to let, let's just say I get about three pounds for every fish on average yeah it's gonna take me a bit of a time to get all of those done so I'm talking maybe a couple of hours actually it take me more than a couple of hours because you've got the cool down period for the actual fish catch that you're doing as well now depending on the actual place that you are fishing will depend on the cool down time now cool down time is the actual time between when it's actually caught a fish and then when you can catch the next one so this one I've just caught the sockeye salmon for that was going to be done in 2 hours and 29 minutes if I come over here as an example 1 hour and 58 minutes so every single slot is a little bit different some of them are long some of them are short uh, that one there like 3 hours and 59 minutes like whoa that's just like way 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 too long in the future so some of them you can come back to very fast and keep catching fish others you've got to wait many many hours now I will basically come back to this task in four hours and all of my places will be opened up again and I will start collecting more fish so roughly every four hours I'm coming back here and doing a spot of fishing now if I do do this really well and I'm lucky I can get between about 30 and 40 pounds for one basically fishing activity so already I'm up to 26.1 and I'm well on the way to actually achieving that and I've got four slots left over so on average for doing all 12 slots with just worms you're looking between 30 and 40 pounds towards any derby task now, like I said, it all depends on the fish you're catching. Uh, if you're lucky enough, like I'm doing here, the sockeye salmons really do add weight, like that four pound point. So that was a good weight. That was a really good weight. And that's taken me up to the 30 mark now. So yes, that does please me greatly. Really happy about that one. I wonder, maybe another five pounds here in total for these last two slots, taking me up to 35. That would be good. That won't dis that won't make me very feel very dissatisfied. Now the ones I do hate are the one pound fish. Okay, if you get a like a fish for about one point five pounds as an example, like that's kind of like a a bit of a bummer. It like it, it takes it makes it take a lot longer for actually trying to get your derby task done. 
Now, if you are a brand new player, so if you are a player less than level 40, as soon as you've got that fishing area open, you really want to be expanding this area because it is really, really useful. Now, the diamonds you get for the actual three weights are very important. They allow you to upgrade, but it's the fillet, okay, it's the ability to get something free because you're not actually having to pay for the worm lures either. You can start maximizing your production for your machine as well and then getting the master as fast as you can but if you open up this area like that like that's using 1.7 pound like useless that that was actually terrible that one but that's uh, 38 pounds so just under the 40 pound mark which is a shame if that last one had been a little bit heavier I would have been really satisfied now I could actually get some more worms on the go here I do think so I can get some of those done there and that is great Right, now my mastery is done there as you can see here, so all is good as well. If I come over to this one here, I collect these items as well, get a few more made up. I'm going to actually go for the fishing nets now, because I've got plenty of the actual traps, but the fishing nets will be useful for later when I want to actually focus on a trap style activity. Right, fishing area is done. I'm happy. Uh, I've got 38 pounds towards my total already. So only another basically three event worth of fishing, I think, for me to be able to get that 108 pounds. So fingers crossed I can get it done next time. But in the meantime, see you all next time and have a happy heyday now. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share the video. Do leave comments below and let me know your fishing techniques. Maybe you're doing the same kind of thing. Maybe something a little different. But see you all in the next video everybody and take care now goodbye